What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. Man, it cannot be understated how much people love the Hulk. And to the degree that they love the Hulk, it cannot be understated how much more they love World Breaker Hulk. Here at my Marvel channel over the last six or so months, comments on the most obscure videos will still read all caps World Breaker Hulk. And the number one request I have in my DMs is to do a video on this. So before we break down all the ways we could possibly get World Breaker Hulk in Avengers 4, and I don't think it's totally off the table, Hit the subscribe button. We're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel-related stuff. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment on this video, and I'll get into all the giveaway stuff again at the end of the video. So I definitely wasn't using any hyperbole or embellishment when I said everybody's favorite is World Breaker Hulk. If you've never heard of him before, he's probably one of the definitive flavors of the genre. That is the most insane, strongest version of Hulk that we've ever gotten to see. Now, we could spend the next six or seven minutes talking about the nuanced levels of his exact strength, who could beat him and who couldn't, but I can tell you straight up from the comic line that he exists in, he's easily High Herald level strong. He breaks the entire Eastern Seaboard when he gets to Earth, goes on to kill most of your favorite Avengers, X-Men, and Fantastic Four, and then easily disposes of both the Windigo and the Bybeast, who both have the Wishing Well amp at the time. If you don't know what any of that means, don't worry. He's absolutely insane. So it's no question why he's a fan favorite. And when we heard we would be getting Professor Hulk, that is Intelligent Hulk, a mix of Bruce Banner and the Green Hulk, here in Avengers 4, a lot of fans cried out saying that's not what they wanted to see. But guys, don't worry. Just because we're getting Professor Hulk doesn't mean they can't roll elements of other Hulks into that character. They have set a precedent for this, mostly with the villains I will mention, such as Ego and Hela, retaining most of the appearance and characteristics of the namesake character, while then simultaneously rolling in completely different characteristics from completely different villains. They've also done this with Thor, showing a wide range of his powers, ranging all the way up to Rune King Thor. So it's not a reach to assume we may see some insane version of Hulk as he battles Thanos to close out the fourth movie. But how would this happen? Well, let's break it down. Somewhere in the middle of the first act, they're going to have to dispatch with the intelligent Hulk explainer. Either it will have already happened or is going to take place. And here at the channel, we've named Shuri as a likely candidate to be integral into figuring out how to combine Bruce Banner and the strength of the Hulk so that they both feel like they have a hand on the wheel and are enjoying the ride. The next thing that would need to happen is some catalyst to send Hulk into this insane strength rage. We all know he gets angry and he smashes, but what would need to take place in order for him to go world breaker level because he won't have the herald imbument from galactus unless galactus does show up and then turns him into world breaker hulk i don't know how they're going to do that in this movie we're already reaching here to begin with so i think there's some more likely scenarios that could set this off the first one is a death either natasha romanoff his love interest or even the death of a close friend like tony or cap could send the hulk into a blinding rage and while we might not call him world breaker hulk and while we might not see the most insane levels of power like him breaking off a seaboard, we could see elements of the World Breaker Hulk show up in this crazy level where he cannot be beat. The second thing that could happen is, well, they could combine him with Pimtech. I've seen this on Reddit a couple of times and thought it was interesting, but you know how Ant-Man turns into Giant Man? Well, what would happen if the Incredible Hulk used Pimtech to turn into Giant Hulk? What are you going to do then, Thanos? But there's something else. There's something else that's been rumored in a couple of plot leaks and looks like they were specifically setting it up for Avengers 4. There's something else that could take Hulk to this crazy World Breaker level and actually give us World Breaker Hulk in Avengers 4. And that's if Hulk gets his hands on an Infinity Stone, namely the Power Stone. Now, a lot of people have rumored that Hulk is going to wear the Infinity Gauntlet, and actually there's precedence for this in one of his Ultimate runs, I think the Ultimate Hulk, he wields dual gauntlets. But to imbue all of the stone's power onto one person, even via the gauntlet, we see very clearly has a toll on its user. And I'm not sure any of the Avengers could take it physically wielding that gauntlet. Maybe Captain America, maybe Captain Marvel, for sure the Hulk. What if he got his hands on the Infinity Gauntlet? What if he got his hands on the Power Stone and ingest it? Shout out Alex Ash, my boy, really thinks Hulk's going to eat the Power Stone. 
and go nuts. And you know what? I'm not even hating. I would love for that to happen. I really hope they're doing that right now at the CGI house, trying to figure out what Hulk's going to look like glowing purple because he ate the power stone. But outside of that, if he got his hands on the Infinity Gauntlet, if they do use the Quantum Realm to travel to alternate realities or back in time to collect the Infinity Stones and build their own Star Trek Vibranium Gauntlet, or go back to each tree, or go back in time to Odin and grab the old gauntlet, someone's going to have to wear it. And if it's not Tony Stark, and it's not Captain America, and it's not Captain Marvel, which for all certain reasons could be, but also seem unlikely given who those characters are, then Hulk would be the one who could wield it. And if Hulk gets his hands on the Infinity Gauntlet, he could do whatever he wanted and turn into the most powerful version of himself, which would be Worldbreaker Hulk which means there is a chance we're going to see something like this in Avengers 4. Now, I'm on record in probably 10 out of like the 200 videos on my channel when it comes to Hulk, saying that given what they've told us about what they're doing in Avengers 4, what they're doing with the story arc for the Hulk in both Ragnarok, Infinity War, and now the still untitled Avengers 4, my strongest belief is the conclusion to Avengers 4 will have the Hulk versus Thanos where the Hulk wins in a perfect circular storytelling from the beginning of Infinity War when Hulk loses. And if this final battle is going to come down to the Hulk versus Thanos, it would be absolutely amazing fan payoff to give us some version of Worldbreaker Hulk destroying and or killing Thanos and whatever else is this new threat on the horizon. Guys, this was a super fun run to write. I've been sitting on it for a while. I know y'all love Worldbreaker Hulk. If you're a Worldbreaker Hulk fan, do you have any other ideas about how we could see him? Let me know in the comments. Also, before I let you go, let's get into that giveaway stuff. So we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, one at the 100 and one at the 150,000 subscriber mark. If you could hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment on the video, that enters you to win immediately. We're also giving away this awesome Marvel license, limited edition, trendsetters, limited run 2500 film plaque, commemorating the first Avengers movie containing 10 original film cells from the movie you used to be able to buy these on ebay wayfair and some other places but they have all since been sold out for a while so if you want to win this same rules apply hit the subscribe button leave a like and a comment on this video and then hit the notification bell because the more videos that you like and comment on the better chance you have of winning my name is michael roman this is everything always stick around we'll be posting again real real soon